Hello and welcome to another tutorial by The Butler. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an iPod ad like the one you saw at the beginning of this video uh, yourself. You can basically just take a picture of yourself and then make it into one of those spiffy looking iPod ads. Uh, first let's open up Photoshop and what you're going to need is Photoshop uh, 7 or CS3 because they're very very similar. I don't know about the older versions because I've never used them. Uh, you're going to need a picture of yourself and that's pretty much it. First we're going to go up to file then click open and then find the file that you want to open uh, your picture. And for some reason in Photoshop it takes forever to find my computer so Where are you? There it is. Alright, I'm going to use this one just because it's a little bit more animated. Um, okay, yeah, this is just a picture that I took of myself um, playing my guitar. And now you're going to go up to File and hit New. And actually first, you're going to need to go to... Um, image and then image size and see how big your picture is um, you're gonna want your background color document image thing to be about the size of your starting image um, so yeah just go to file new and then uh, put the background contents on white and make sure the size is similar to your uh, base image. I'm starting with 2000 by 2000 simply because that's about what uh, my picture is. So hit OK. Should open up a blank document. Get your uh, paint bucket tool. Then get whatever background color you want. Um, now you're going to go back to your starting image and you're going to go over here to the layers menu and then where it says background you're going to drag down to this icon right down here and it'll make a copy of your background layer going to left click and drag on the background copy layer and drag it over onto your background color uh, image you're going to let go it'll put that on there um, you don't really need that anymore, so you can close it if you want to. Now you're going to want to erase all of this background stuff in your picture. So it's easiest if you have a background with a lot of the same colors in it. Go over here to your eraser tool and select the magic eraser tool. Um, you can also just hit E. Oh, wait, no, you can't. Anyway, select your magic eraser tool and then click and it'll take out everything of the same color within a certain range. Just It's kind of hit or miss, but yeah, much of a choice. Anyway, okay, once you're done with the erasing, hit Control U or go up to the image menu up here. Hit Adjustments, Hue Saturation. Then go to Lightness right here. You should be under Master the lightness preview is usually best to have clicked just because you can actually see what you're doing drag it all the way down to negative 100 that'll totally black out your image now inevitably you're going to find some little sections of the background that you didn't erase just go ahead and go over those with the eraser real quick uh -huh. shouldn't be too many all right once you're done with that i actually made one just like this just because i think it looks kind of cool but if you want to go on to the next step, you're going to, the next step is just making an iPod and putting the headphones on there, all that. I'm going to go down here to the add new layer button, select that, double click the name that says layer one and name it iPod just for organization's sake. Then go up here to your select tool and select rectangular marquee tool. Now anywhere on here 
just to make a rectangle about the size of an iPod. Then uh, you're going to get your paint bucket tool, get a white, and then paint your iPod white. I don't care if you have a black iPod, you can make it black, but just remember your silhouette's black, so you're probably not going to see it. Um, after you're done with that, drag the iPod layer over here down and create new layer. It will just make a copy of that layer. It should be called iPod copy. Now hit Control T, and it should open up the transform option. Now you're just going to drag it up about this high, this is going to be the iPod screen, so make it however big you want your iPod screen to be. Then go to Control U once again. This time we're going to adjust the lightness once again, but we're not going to uh, adjust it quite as much. We're just going to make it down into a gray color for the screen. And make it dark enough that you can actually tell the difference. Then you're going to go to uh, select your iPod layer again. And you don't have to do this, I just think it looks better because it's all in the details. Uh, deselect the screen. And then uh, hold down the Alt key and drag a circle. This is going to be your uh, click wheel and button. Ah, oh, shoot. That would be wrong. Uh, Make it big enough for the click wheel first, just because that's what you're going to want to do. Oh, wait, hold down Alt and uh, Shift, actually. I was wrong. And that'll make it so it stays a perfect circle. You won't get all overly shaped. So, yeah, just get about to the size of the click wheel. Then drag it down to the center. Then go up here to this very handy little tool, uh, Subtract from Selection. And click that it's going to be up here on the circular marquee tool options and you're going to drag a smaller circle inside uh, that's going to be your main button thing uh, now you're going to hit control u again and take the lightness down to a gray color again this should leave the middle part white and the outside part gray. Uh, if it didn't, then you did something wrong. Go back and try again. Deselect that, and then zoom back out. And there you have your little iPod. Uh, you're gonna want to take iPod Copy and iPod, these two layers over here, and uh, hold down. Select one of them, then hold down the Shift key, and select the other one. That should highlight both of them. Right click, merge layers, that will make them, them all into iPod copy. Then drag your iPod over to anywhere on your person where you want it. Then hit control T, just rotate it however you like. I have mine like it's on my belt or something. And then this is where it gets just a wee bit artistic. Um, it's not that hard, but it, this is, I really can't make, I can't tell you how to do this. You just kind of have to do it on your own because it's whatever you think looks best. But you're going to go over here to new layer and name, I named this layer headphones. Now you're going to go over to the pencil tool. Make sure you still have white selected. And then go up and make it about four pixels your um, brush width and you're going to start at the top or bottom of your iPod wherever you want the headphones to start and you're just going to draw a chord coming from it be like this and then you're going to go up don't draw straight to the ears yet go back up to uh, brush size go down to about 2 pixels and now you're going to draw to the ears or where the ears would be if we could see them so yeah that's your finished product and uh, here's just another version that I did 
Hope you liked it. Have fun. Don't die. Oh, rate, subscribe, and comment. Please. Have fun. Don't die.